Welcome to another Lessons with Lemon. Today is part two in my beginner series, and we're gonna be talking all about the grip. How do you grip the club? Where do you put your hands? How do you move your fingers? What's the best way to grip the club? That's what we're gonna be discussing today. Stick around. One of the first things I teach new students and beginner golfers is how to grip the club properly. Now, I started out as a baseball player when I started playing golf when I was about 13 or 16. And so I immediately wanted to grab the club like this and swing it like this, which again is great when you're playing baseball, but the golf grip is a little different. So the way I start out with people, I start teaching them how to grip the club properly. And what you'll wanna do is you wanna set your hand like this. And again, this is for right-handed players, uh, I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you'll be doing this the opposite direction. And you'll want to set the club down in the middle, like on the, on the middle of your fingers, so you can grab your fingers in like this. You want to go across here. You don't want the club up here, like in the, in the palm of your hand. You don't want it this way, and you don't want it this way. You'd like it right, ideally, right down the pads of your hand, of your fingers right through here. Then you want to wrap your fingers around it and put your thumb on top of the club like this. So it kind of goes like this, wrap that, and the thumb on top. Then next, you want to kind of reach your right hand out like you're trying to shake someone's hand, and you want to put your, your hand on top of the club, and you want to either overlap or interlap, or even do a 10 finger grip, but either way, you want to be grabbing the club with the pads of your hands right here, so it's kind of out in your fingers, and not in this heavy part here, but you want to have it out in your fingers like that. And then putting your, your thumb on top of the club like this. So the back of it will look something like this, and the front of it will look like this. So again, we're grabbing the club like this in our fingers, putting our thumb on top, we're taking our other hand, putting it on top of that, and putting it together this. One thing I do see with new students is they'll start to grab the club sometimes like this, where they have a big gap between their fingers or between their hands. And you don't want that gap. You wanna have your hand either, if you're doing a 10 finger grip, you wanna have it very, very close to those fingers together, both hands together. And if you're doing the overlapping or the interlocking, they're gonna be connected. And the reason we do that is, if you've got a nice grip on the club like this, it gives you the nice full freedom to swing it easily and move it around to give yourself the best chance to hit the ball with some speed. If you're up here doing kind of a hockey type swing, it just restricts your movement and makes things much more inconsistent. I like to do the interlocking grip and that's just kind of what I'm used to. I've been doing this for 30 years, so I've kind of stuck with that. But you could also do the overlapping where you've got your finger here and you're kind of on top of that pointer finger. Again, I like to do this, you could do this. Uh, there's also a 10 finger grip if you like. Um, it's kind of up to you and the key is to make sure that you find a grip that's comfortable for you and that feels good in your hands. And, it's, and if you're a beginner, it's gonna take a minute to get started with this, but try to work on something that gives you a nice grip on the club and also lets you swing it and move it around as best you can. And again, I started with a baseball grip when I first started playing golf because that's what I had done. I played baseball. But ideally, you don't want to have the club that far in your hand. It just restricts your movement and it's not the best for golf. So once you've got the club in your hands, the next question is usually how tight do you grip the club? And I remember hearing back in the day, and I'm sure you've heard this before, that you want to grip the club like you're holding a baby bird or like you're holding a snake. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I feel like that's just way too loose. Uh, I mean, if I'm gripping this like I'm holding on to a baby bird, I'm going to just, if I swing too hard, I'm just going to let this club go and I'm going to throw the club. So to me, I would rather have a little bit of a stronger type of grip, stronger hold on the club. I mean, especially when you're hitting driver, I mean, you're going to be creating all kinds of club head speed and you're going to be moving this really quickly. You really want to have a nice grip on it. So that way you can relax and swing as hard as you can. So to me, I want you to have a nice firm grip on the club. That way you can't, like if I came up to you, I couldn't take it out of your hand. Now, if it's too tight 
and your muscles are too restricted when you're swinging, you're going to restrict your turn and your swing and things like that and reduce your speed. So I want it to be like if I was trying to pull the club out of your hand, you're going to pull it back, but not so tight that your hands are all tensed up and your shoulders are all too tight. So just kind of a nice firm grip on the club. But you're also able to move your wrists. I mean, even like if you're able to do this, cock your wrists, then you've got a pretty good grip on it. I mean, if I grab it so tight, I'm not even able to do that. So just a nice firm grip on the club. Once you've figured out how tight to hold the club and what kind of grip you're going to use, the next thing is we talk about strong grip and a weak grip. Now, a strong grip is not how tight you're holding the club. Again, we talked about holding it kind of firmly, like I can't pull it out of your hand. But a strong grip talks about how your hands are positioned on the club. So if this is straight down the shaft, if I have a strong grip, my hands will be over here. And when you're looking down, you'll be able to see multiple knuckles. Also, if you have the arrows pointing, they will be pointing this way as opposed to a weaker grip, which will be over on this way, where your hands are kind of more on top of the club. So again, we've got strong grip over here. We can kind of see a few more knuckles. And then we've got a weak grip up here, where your hand is more on top of it. Now, a weak grip or a neutral grip is fine. It's totally fine. If that's comfortable for you, if that's comfortable for your swing, it's fine. Um, the reason I teach some of my students to use a, a little stronger grip is it has a tendency to help you get a little more forward shaft lean when you're going into the into the ball and also it has a tendency to keep you from slicing as much it just kind of helps from the uh, going over the top and going across the ball and it kind of gives you a little more tendency to go from the inside through the ball in a little bit and it you know I've had people where I've taken students and uh, I've changed them from kind of a neutral grip or just um, a little bit of a weak grip and given a stronger grip and it's helped cure their slice. So that's something to think about. But again, we want to make sure that we have, we're gripping the club in a way that's comfortable for us and that fits our body type and our type of swing. If you're looking for a tool to help you with your grip, I found this very helpful. I have a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But basically, it's a grip that is molded in such a way that when you grab it, it helps you put your fingers in the right direction. I mean, there's little bevels there for each of your fingers. It's got your thumb. We've got the little V and the little gap right there. And then when you grip on top of it, it's got this for your trigger finger. And then also another V right there that helps go between your thumb and your hands. And this is a really good tool, and I've used this with a lot of my students, and I actually do this myself to just to make sure that I am gripping the club correctly. Because your grip on the club is the only thing that's holding the club in your hand. It's the only connection you have to the club, and it's a very important part of your swing. And I believe with this, you could you know work on kind of a stronger grip or kind of a weaker grip with this with this kind of setup. But what's cool about this tool is, not only does it help you with your grip, but you can also help with your swing. So this thing, the ball will actually swing out, and it's short enough that you can do this inside. But what's cool is, this, the momentum will swing this, this ball out, and ideally you would like to work on the ball coming out at the bottom of your swing, and it kind of helps with a couple other things if you're working on. So if you're extending too soon, then you know you're probably flipping the club. And if you're extending too late, you can tell exactly where the main momentum of your swing is. So this is a great tool that I've been using with my students and it might help you out. And it, to me, it's an easy way to just get used to gripping the club, especially if you're brand new. Well, that's the grip, the basics of the grip and how to grip the club. I hope you enjoyed this Lessons with Lemon. Please like, subscribe, and comment below what lesson you need to hear from me next. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers, have a great day. And somebody just pulled up in a truck, which is going to be very distracting for me. So we'll see how it goes. Stick around, we're gonna talk all about that today.
and this turned out horrible. To have a good grip on the glove and a, and a, good, <laughs> a good grip on your glove and your, and your glove, that's it.